Hey AIFS family, my name is William Roy. I'm a recent graduate from Xavier University where I studied communications in Spanish and now I'm in San Jose, Costa Rica doing an internship with uh, in cinematography and videography. That's my roommate back there. Say hi Kayleen. So I'm just gonna take you guys through a typical day in the life of an intern here in San Jose, Costa Rica. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey guys, so I'm running a little bit late, so I had to uh, take an Uber. Typically I'd be taking the bus to go to work, but it's just been a hectic week all week. And so I'm kind of rushing to get down to the lobby to be my Uber. But first I gotta go to the little corner store across the street to get breakfast because I didn't have a chance to go shopping and get granola bars this week, this weekend. So we're gonna go and get some delicious treats. Funny story, the Uber app wasn't working, so I had to close it and open it back up to get a new ride. So that's just Pura Vida for you. Gotta take it with the grain of salt, roll with the punches. If you guys have any questions about my internship or my study abroad experience, I'm gonna put a questions box in the next slide. Feel free to ask any questions, nothing's off limits, and uh, I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible and give you as much information as I can. So one of the main reasons why I wanted to do an internship abroad was because I wanted to keep up with my Spanish skills and being able to come to a Latin American country, I was able to do that having that skill looks good on a resume so for future references and things like that future opportunities that was played a major part in why i wanted to come do an internship abroad and then uh, also just because i love the latin american culture i think that you know that's something that i just wanted to learn more about and experience and be a part of and just see the beautiful sights that they have here so that was a that was a pretty big motivator for me to do an internship abroad so the task at my internship really just depends on the day. It varies a lot. Uh, most of the time I do a lot of editing. Um, I edit a lot of videos, but also I have the opportunity to go offsite where I'm not in the office and I'll be doing a lot of filming. I get to work behind the camera and get to learn more about the, the processes and all the gadgets. And then I also help with the setup and takedown of all the equipment. Uh, sometimes I'll help with revising scripts or things like that something like that yeah it just really depends on the day i'm you know anything that has to do with audio visual production i'm pretty much i'm pretty much doing all of it so it's definitely a full time gig you know so but i enjoy it and it's and it's awesome i love it side note guys i also had to just order some uber eats because uh, i just have not had time to cook this week because again you know it's been a crazy week but um usually i would bring like something that I cooked the night before to eat, but uh, in this case today, it's just Uber Eats. So most of the time I try to eat with my coworkers if I have time, but uh, looks like I'm gonna be able to do it today. Let's see what Juan Ma, or Juan Pa is doing. Juan Pa, como estas? Todo bien? Mucho bueno. Mucho bueno. Nunca has probado? Eh, creo que sí lo he visto, pero no. no, no. En ah, el corrido vato. Ah, ya lo he visto. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, ya se conoce. Ajá. Guys, we gotta put Juan Pa onto some, to some cosi. 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 Guys, I was just joined by another one of my awesome co-workers. What's up, Gabriel? Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo va? Todo bien. Todo bien. ¿Y Juan Pa? ¿Qué haces? Todo bien. Haciendo una pinche de Bob Marley. Pinche de Bob Marley. Qué chiva, mai. Qué chiva, mai. Oh, for sure. I definitely feel like my skills have developed uh, just being abroad and um, learning a new subject that I didn't know much about, which is audiovisual production. Um, not only am I learning a lot about the equipment and how, and how it's used, but I'm also learning about the different angles and how to work lighting, sound, things like that. 
Um, so I'm definitely a lot farther than where I was before. And then also having just to learn it in, uh, in a different language is definitely something that's challenging, but it's a you know nine to five internship. I get to practice my Spanish all day. So not only do I get to improve on my Spanish skills, but my cinematography skills as well. So because I'm an intern, I actually get to have an apartment and I share it with uh, two roommates, four bedroom apartment, but it's just three of us. We're pretty close to the city and pretty close to the AIFS office in case we ever need anything from the staff. It's actually perfectly located because there's a lot of shops, there's a lot of restaurants. There's another university as well. We have the opportunity to make a lot of new friends and a lot of, we make friends with our neighbors and things like that. Definitely a great experience and definitely up to date, very modern. It's a great time living there. I enjoy every, every second of it. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that apartment that we're staying at also has like a lot of amenities. So, you know, we're able to go to the gym, which is 24 seven. And then we are also able to go to the cinema room um, when it's available and watch a movie, which is kind of, which is what I did last night with a few of my friends that I made here in the program. Just a bunch of other features. We got like a, a barbecue area uh, upstairs on the roof. So there's, there's a lot to do in just in the apartment itself as well. Hey guys, so I just got home and usually I'm one of the last, or if not always the last, one of the three amigos to arrive at the, the apartment. Kayleen, yeah. Hi. How was your day? It was good. Yeah? Um, yeah. I'm telling you, there is no greater joy than when the spreadsheets finally add up. They really lined up today? <laughs> okay, it was a good day then. <laughs> what about you, Pranavi? How was your day? My day was okay. It was very, very hot, so like, I just had brain fog. Yeah. Just it was like, yeah. So I didn't get as much fun as I wanted to, but. Yeah. Fog and quicker. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm currently on my way to the grocery store because I finally have time to go and get some groceries. But before that, I gotta make a stop and I gotta schedule a haircut because getting haircuts is more important than food, obviously. We're gonna do, go do that and then we're gonna go to Perry and get our groceries and then come back and figure out dinner. So one thing that I do have to say about San Jose, just in general, that I really love is the fact that there's so many grocery stores like in every corner when you're walking and they're always so close so you don't have to walk that far and they're pretty affordable too as far as uh, prices go and exchange rates and things like that um, so uh, that's just another reason why I love it here and, and shopping here everything's uh, pretty pretty affordable and super close so yeah definitely a plus for sure another thing that comes to mind that I want to talk about are the barbershops here the one that I just went to I've been going there the past two or three times and the best service that I've ever gotten out of any barbershop that I've been to and not only that but it's super affordable and the people are super nice they're very welcoming and you get the full package I mean you get everything you get um, not only do you get a nice clean shave but you also get a hot face towel you get face mask, get your hair washed. You definitely get the full package and it's only about like 20 bucks for all of that. So that's what I love so much about going there as well. The service is great, but the people are greater. For those of you who are looking for a barbershop, if you're thinking about coming down here, I definitely suggest that one. It's super close to where I am and it's the, it's the best one I've been to. It's also great for all hair types, so you don't have to worry about that. Also with the amenities that they, that they give you, you get, um, you know, you get like hot steam, hot mist, and um, you also, at the end of your your appointment, it's, uh, at least for me, I've noticed that it's typical for them to offer like a beverage or um, some sort of candy at the end, just to express their gratitude. And, you know, after sitting in the chair for a long time, um, it's just a nice treat to have. So they definitely take care of you. I do like this question. And yeah, definitely for sure. One of the things that I noticed uh, when I first got here was definitely the traffic. It's a little bit more chaotic here than it is in the United States, just because like the lanes aren't so defined. Even when somebody cuts somebody off, they're still pretty nice about it. And they, you know, they just continue to go about their day. But one specific uh, memory that I have being here a while back, I think it was like my first month here 
or early February. My bus driver literally stopped in the middle of his route just so he could get breakfast at a bakery and he ordered a croissant and orange juice from the window and they came and brought it around and nobody was mad about it. We all got to work on time, but it was just some, something like that is just kind of funny to have happen. And um, you know, it was just kind of like a normal thing. Like we all, we all got to work on time, but you know, I feel like, like something like that in the United States just wouldn't happen. I feel like people would kind of be irritated but here you know everything's chill everything's smooth um everything's pura vida so definitely something that shocked me for sure so one of the reasons why i decided to come to costa rica was first reason being that i wanted a spanish-speaking country practice my spanish and also i'd never been to central america before so i wanted to see how that was different and new from any of the other countries that i had visited also i heard so many good things about how nice the people were here which is true and also how beautiful the scenery is here and how nice the weather is as well. You know, I had never thought about going to Central America before. When I saw Costa Rica as an opportunity to go, I thought this is my chance to go to Central America because I didn't know when I'd be able to have that chance in the future. So um, that was definitely one of the reasons why I chose to come to this location. So the reason why I chose to do this internship is because communications is such a very broad field of study. And I feel like that can be applied in almost any business or company that you go into. And I had always had a passion for uh, movies and film, and I had never really tried to do anything with that. And so after graduating, I wanted to do something that was um, a very strong interest of mine. And I felt that Costa Rica had such a nice had such nice places for good scenery and things like that. Being here, I was able to capture just some incredible shots, but also being able to be a part of a company that allows me to have freedom and uh, be creative with my process and things like that. So I actually didn't know anybody before doing this program. However, before you do go to your final destination, they do have these information sessions that you can go in and ask questions after they provide you with information, which is something that they do weekly. If I remember correctly, we would have like weekly or bi-weekly info sessions and through Zoom and sometimes we'd exchange our phone numbers or emails or whatever the case may be through Zoom and we'd get in contact that way. But um, I didn't actually know anybody personally and had met them before coming on this trip. But I did speak to my roommates before coming here and I uh, got to know a little bit more about them before we actually met in person and uh, we just kind of hit it off and it's great. I love the people here and now we're just best friends. Oh, heck no, bro. I'm sure I'm ready to go home. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not ready to go home. No, I'm having a blast here in Costa Rica. It's a shame that I only have like about like three, three more weeks here. You know, I've enjoyed pretty much every, every minute of it and um, it's just like a, it's just a magical, magical city and a magical country. And the people here are amazing. The people in my program are amazing. Definitely made some lifelong friends for sure. I love my roommates. Uh, everything kind of just fell into place, you know, kind of when it needed to. And I'm just so blessed to be here. And I think that um, if you have the opportunity to go, you'll find the same thing. So definitely, definitely give AIF, AIFS a try give Costa Rica a try, you definitely won't regret it. It's a beautiful country and it's an amazing time. Now this question right here is definitely hard to answer because there's so many cool places to visit in San Jose and it really just depends on what you like and what piques your interest. But San Jose is a big, San Jose is a big enough city where um, you can definitely find anything that will pique your interest. For me, I think the coolest places that I've been or that I've enjoyed the most at least, the National Stadium, because I went there for a soccer game and thankfully tickets are pretty affordable. So, you know, that's not something that you should have to worry about too much, but also another place is, there's a restaurant called Wings on Fire. They have some of the best wings that I've tried here. I'm not not gonna lie, they know what they're doing. So, and there's some other places too, like they have pupusarias for food, you know, for those who are foodies and things like that. But they have like art galleries, things like that. Also, you'll find that they have a lot of events in downtown San Jose. Just this Sunday, I was at like a small festival. They shut down a street for about a mile and they had a, a bunch of different activities you could do. They had um, Lucha Libre, which is something that's uh, super cool if you haven't done that. 
or you don't know what that is, look it up, check it out. It's it's super fun, super funny. They have music, they have food, they had a skate park. I mean, there are specific locations you can go to, but just know that there are also a lot of events that you can go to for free. They also had, a, I think two weeks ago, they had a, a an ice cream festival or something like that. And um, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to check it out, but you know, there's a bunch of cool events like that here in the city. Thankfully with AIFS, you're able to go to a lot of places in Costa Rica. You know, the first month that we were here, all every weekend of January, we were going to another location and we hit every province that they have here in Costa Rica. We hit Manuel Antonio, we hit Monteverde, we hit Poas, La Fortuna and Alajuela. So there's a lot of um, opportunities to travel with AIFS, even after um, you land here because they always have some excursion planned for you within the first month. And now, obviously, you can, um, after the first month, you are able to plan your own excursions. A lot of the students do that here and they have a blast. Thankfully, through my internship, I'm also allowed to travel throughout Costa Rica because I'm out filming, doing things like that. So you, there's a lot of opportunities to travel when, within Costa Rica. I'm actually not entirely sure about this question. Uh, I know that for my sake and my two roommates, we are here on unpaid internships. However, I do not know or I haven't asked if they do have opportunities here at AIFS to have paid internships. That may be something that you want to talk to your uh, one of your staff uh, members at school who work hand in hand with the company or somebody who works uh, for AIFS directly. However, I will say that even though our internships are unpaid, it's still definitely worth the time and energy that you put into it because uh, it's just an incredible experience to be here and what you put into it, you get out of it. It really just depends on what you're looking for. But again, I would, I would check and make sure. Hey guys, thanks so much for following along today. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can go to the link in the AIFS Abroad profile page. And uh, you can also follow me at williamroy.roy on Instagram. Uh, if you want to, you know, just follow along with what I'm doing here in Costa Rica. Yeah, thanks again for listening. Hope you guys have a great night.